Hey my friends, this is Craig Howard at the Happy Camper RV Superstore in Idaho. Today I'm going to show you a 2023 Ibex by Forest River. This floor plan is called a 23 RLDS. Really neat rear living floor plan. I hope you like it. Total length on this is 27 feet 6 inches. That's from the hitch up front all the way to the spare tire in the back. Dry weight approximately 5,100 pounds. 660 pound hitch weight. It's rated for about 2,500 pounds of cargo. 11 feet 3 inches tall. 96 inches wide. 40 gallon fresh, 40 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. And you see that big long 18 foot, almost full length awning there. What do you think of the graphics on this Ibex? Just slightly different from last year's. Same color scheme though, looks pretty cool I think. So the entrance on this camper is in the rear, opens right up to a love seat there, and it faces the dinette, which is in a slide. What do you think of this space? I think it's pretty cool. Checking out the kitchen here. Got a gas electric fridge right there. There's your range top. Let's look into the bedroom. We'll go back to that in more detail in the kitchen. How about the accent lighting? It looks cool inside of those cupboards, doesn't it? Here's a peek inside the bathroom. Nice big shower here. Aren't those cool? Those little tray tables right there, easily removable, swivel out of the way, really nice design. And then check this out. You don't get recline out of this love seat, but these foot rests raise up and gives you a really comfy place to sit. And it will also jackknife out into a small sleeping space. I've got all the shades closed for this video because I've got the lights on. So you can't tell necessarily, but there's a lot of natural light that you get in this camper. Those three windows in the back, the windows in the slide. Look at this storage up here in this cabinetry. Quite a bit of space up there.
Got more here under the dinette. This is cool, a little lockbox there. Here's some of your storage in the kitchen. What do you usually store in that space? Is it food? Is it pots and pans? How do you organize your camper? What would you put right there? Maybe a paper towel roll? Here underneath the sink. This is a really nice three burner top here. And then underneath it, a convection microwave. How about that round sink? What are your thoughts on that? I usually find that people either love a sink or they hate it in the campers. Depending on the size and style of it. Some people like a divided sink so they can do their dishes in it. Some people like a really big single sink. Here's some more pantry space. That was the tire pressure monitor system right there we just saw. This is really neat, a central vac system. Peek inside the medicine cabinet here. This device right here is really neat. It's called a shower miser. Basically, it helps you save water as you're waiting for hot water to come to your shower. That helps you minimize the waste. Really neat design. Some underbed storage. Behind that is the what we call the pass-through storage. You can see it's got a partition there. And then we also see an inverter right there. That's really cool. Comes on this Ibex. Do you like to see a partition between your underbed storage and your pass-through? Again, one of those things that some people love, some people hate. I think it's cool. You can separate more of your outdoor gear, dirty stuff in that pass-through and you can keep cleaner things like blankets, linens, whatever, underneath the bed. I can see the benefit too though of having one giant space. Right there we're looking at the solar charge controller. That's a lot of space over the bed there. All this lighting in here is pretty cool. What do you think? Especially the different colors, the blue and the, the side compartments there.
that pocket door's got a really nice positive catch when it's closed. Right here, most of your controls, awning and slide controls, some lighting. Here's your thermostat. That controls the furnace and the air conditioner, which we see right here. And we can see some of the spots that that air conditioner is ducted to. Helps it cool this unit really evenly. Down here, the furnace. And again, that's also ducted. Spread the heat nice and evenly. I'm sorry, I told you earlier that we saw the solar charge controller. This right here that we just saw is actually that. What we were seeing earlier was the, con the inverter. Switches for the heated holding tanks. Okay, my friends, one last look at an Ibex 23 RLDS at the Happy Camper RV Superstore in Idaho. Please let us know if you'd like to see this. If you have any questions about it, we'd love to visit with you and meet you.